Hey guys, Deb, Deb with Art and Grace here. I wasn't sure if I was live because I've got this um, pointed down at my canvas. So say hi when you come on. Let's be sure that this is working and that you can see and hear me. And I've got it pulled up over here on my laptop. So somebody let me know that everything's working right. I'm actually trying to pull it up because I don't see it live yet, but it'll be there in just a sec. Just have to hit refresh, right? There we are. Okay, so you guys say hi when you pop in here. And I want to go ahead and put this link for the free tracer here in the comments. And it is such a cute little summer painting. course if you are in the art and craft showcase or you're in grace then you have access to this tracer just inside the group so hey girls hi Linda hi Denise hi Becky I'm so glad you guys pop, popped on hi Joni hi Carrie gosh y'all were fast okay I'm gonna get right to it we painted the little flamingo family yesterday and I had the background done so that you didn't have to wait for me to do all that, but a lot of people asked about how to do that. So I'm gonna show you this easy background. You really, I use three brushes. These are the three I use, a flat, uh, like a bristle, boar's head bristle kind of rough. This just came in a cheap pack at Michael's. Um, and then a smaller um, liner brush. And then you can, if you don't have one of these, you can find a chip brush. Let's see, one of these just regular chip brushes. Anything with a really coarse, you know, hair, bristles, or you could even use an old toothbrush that you've cleaned, something like that. So I'll show you guys. I'm gonna get out a couple of colors. I used the Bahama Blue. That is one of my all-time favorites. I use a little bit of this Teal Mint, and then of course white. So just your plain old white. So I'm gonna put this over here and I will let you see kind of how I, how I mix and kind of how I do this. So I'm just gonna put out some of this Bahama Blue. Probably putting out way too much, but that's okay. Also, um, I'll tell you this, you will get a little bit better results if you use a better quality of, canva of canvas. This one here came from Michaels and it's a really good quality. This one is a Dollar Tree and I use them a lot just for practice and things, but if you will get a better result from the better quality. So just watch for sales because when you can get the Michaels one on sale, you know, they're a reasonable price. They're probably, two dollars each maybe instead of a dollar each you do have to watch for the sale and then I just stock it up when they are on sale and of course sometimes I don't you know catch them or whatever but that's why I have some of these on hand okay so I'm just gonna go into my um, and, and by the way for the background you can use any brush so I was gonna use this one but if you want to cover a lot get one of your bigger chip brushes and I'm gonna go into this aqua into the aqua and just start putting down some X's, but I'm gonna go right into my darker, kind of mixing it, go into my white. You can put all three on your brush at one time. It really doesn't matter because we just play with it. So you just do some crisscrosses. While it's wet, you can go in there and just add another color, but you're just getting a variety of colors and however you wanna do that's fine. You can put all three of them on your brush at once. If you see that you have a lot of green, go back and add a little white. You know, just getting the colors down is all we're doing for this first step. So you guys tell me how you're doing today. Anything good going on in your neck of the woods? It's very cloudy here. I t I've been telling y'all we've had vacation Bible school um, at some apartments in our community. And last night it rained and then it cleared up, so we were good to go. We had a great night. It wasn't too hot. So it's been really, really good. Hope y'all are having a good week and something good is happening where you are. Or find something. You know, sometimes you just have to look for the little things. If you're having a hard week, then start looking for those little things. So, 
you know, um, maybe you see some flowers as you're walking out to your car. I don't know, just little things. Or maybe you smile at a stranger and they, it seems to perk them up. I'm telling you, little things can make a big difference. So look for those little things and kind of try to find a way to be a blessing when you're having a bad week. And I promise it kind of turns your perspective around. Okay, so I've got kind of my good background going and you see how it's just kind of all different colors. You don't need it to be smooth. I don't want mine smooth. I like the choppier look that I have right now. So let me just, hi girl, hi Stephanie, hi Leah. Do you guess, no, I don't. I do not because on these fun paintings like this, I don't think it's necessary. If I'm gonna do more of a fine art or some of my floral art, I will put down a layer of gesso, but I don't for these. So do you see the variations in the in the water here? And <laughs> gotta start thinking of it as water. And I'll look, if there's other comments I'm missing, I promise I'll go look in just a second. So just have that, that base down. You can have, if you're in a hurry, have a hair dryer handy or a heat gun like I do. Um, the heat guns, I never, I don't recommend them unless, if you have small kids because it's just way too easy for them to get burned. Um, they don't understand the level of heat that they get. And I'm telling you, even as an adult, it's easy to get burned. So I would just use a hairdryer or one of the simple little heat guns they sell at Michael's that don't get too hot. Um, and just, you know, don't hold it too close to your canvas. And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna pop this on real fast and I'll look at your comments. It really only takes about 60 seconds for me to dry this. Oh, thanks, Angel. How are you doing today? Are you at work or are you in the, are y'all, I guess y'all are summer, right? Right now, it's summer for y'all. If I see, I'm, like once I'm drying it, I'll see some spots I missed. In this kind of a painting, it is okay because look, you're gonna be putting your flamingos right over that. But if you want to be more careful, I'm just kind of going for time, so I'm not being super careful. But what you you would do next, once this is totally dry, is we'll make our water lines, and then remember you're gonna lay down your carbon and lay down your tracer and put those on so those pieces that may show right now are not gonna show later. But let me, you know, just go ahead and show you with this small liner brush. I'll get it wet to get get a just a little more um, fluidity to the water, to the white. And I'm just using my liner brush and kind of getting that white on there and kind of rolling it around. So it's very wet, which is going to make this slide across the canvas really easily. So hopefully, even though it's a Dollar Tree canvas, it's going to do good for me. And then you're, there is no rhyme or reason. You're just making these white lines that kind of are going to resemble water, water, um, you know, just to make the variations in the water. And it really does give it that water look, just like if you're in a pool. So you can drag it from one to the next. Um, I, I try to have a light hand. And the reason that I keep this brush handy is if, if it's too sharp, I'll do this and just kind of smudge in some areas. You know, if it looks too much like a, you can see on that one, see I did it there and I did it here. I don't know if you can see the top of this, but um, sometimes you can use this to really smooth any harsh lines so that it really, but you're just kind of dragging it through of course, that's a little harsh, so I'll probably do this. I just don't want it to be a really, really bright white line. So, just kind of... See, when you brush that in, it just kind of fades it down and kind of messes it up a little so it's not super sharp. And that's what gives it that water look. 
Oh, you did, Angel. How fun. So, like, threes? Three-year-olds, twos, and threes? Hi, Ann. Oh, my goodness. You and the stars, girl, you're going to go broke sending me stars. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Okay. It is so fun getting stars, y'all. I have um, <clears throat> my favorite brush set on order when I get it. It'll just be here tomorrow. Um, then we're going to do the giveaway for you guys. So Anyway, that's about it. I mean, you really don't need a whole ton. But, of course, you can put as much as you want to where, you know, it's kind of hard to see right now. But as you can see, this is exactly what I did. And then this is the outcome. So it does look like pool water. I painted my flamingos on there, and then after I was done and everything was dry, I went into my paint and I used these two colors and got kind of a dark teal. And then I just brushed it on with a kind of a coarse brush like this, just brushed it on underneath to give that shadow look. And that's it. And I did probably line it, so if you didn't see this yesterday, uh, you didn't see me paint it. You can watch the replay and skip past all the talking and all that and just see how I painted and then traced it. It's just a fun, whimsical design. Not meant to be serious. Not meant to be fancy, you know. And see the little baby? I think she's so cute. You could put something in her if you wanted to. If you wanted to make the, um, you know, the middle of these guys, you see it both ways. You see some that are out so the child could come through it. Or you have some like this where you sit on top of it. So y'all can leave that, you know, hole and let the water show through if you want to. So when you print out the tracer, all you would do, you go ahead and, you know, trace it just as normal. And then as you're painting, this is just going to be left open. So when you lay that down, you would do your, uh, you would do your background like I've done here. Let it completely dry. And then you lay your carbon paper down, the dark side down, shiny side always goes down. And then you put this on top, hold it, or actually it's better to tape it, and then trace. You just trace your design, and it's going to, I'll show you just a little bit, but it's going to leave the, and as you can see, I'm not even being careful because I want y'all to see. It's going to leave the design on the canvas and then you can just paint it in. Okay, so super, super easy, but a fun way to get the pool look just quick and easy. And so how long did that take us? I mean, not long at all. And I'm, all, you know, doing a lot of talking. So you can see super fast, super easy. Oh, good. You went to your daughter's 15th birthday? Oh, fun. Yeah, Marin, right? She is so sweet and pretty. I'm glad she had a good birthday. Oh, good, Ian. Thanks for, I, I'm glad y'all like it. So that is that. I just wanted to show you since I didn't show it yesterday and some people had asked. So go get that, um, you know, tracer if you want to and print it out. You can give it to kids or grandkids if you don't like this design and, you know, maybe they would want to paint it or color it even with markers or colors. And that is it. So, guys, I'll be back um, another day this week. What is today? I've lost track of days because of VBS. I'm just kind of coming and going. I think it's Tuesday. But, um, you know, I'll be back. So, I want to paint live with you guys again. Um, so, I'll be back soon. I hope you all have a great day. See you soon. Bye.